Okay, what I've done here is, is I've cut out the old rusty section and um, I've cut the new piece to fit in. I haven't yet welded it, but I've put a few relief cuts in. You can see on the side here, on the top. I'll go around here and you can see there's another one on the top there and on the side here. Now, those relief cuts are because that panel area is a little bit too big. It's not actually the right size. And to get it to fit, I've just had to take some a little bit of metal out of here and there. And um, and now it will fit. Um, it's just a matter of me going along and, and welding that back up now, where those cracks are, where I've cut into it. And um, I weld those up, and then I'll grind it out, and I'll paint it on the inside of the rails. I'll sandblast it first, then paint it, and then I'll weld that in, and then I'll sandblast it and paint it. I'll grind it down first, then sandblast it and paint it, so it'll um, come out looking quite nice. Um, you can see here along the edge, this is a rare spares part, and you can see here that um, it doesn't quite, it's not quite wide enough where the seam is for the weld. I mean, sure, I can weld onto it, and, and I can, and it'll be strong, but, you know, the original piece, which is this one here, you know, it had a lot more on the sides of the tags. And you can see that there, and there and there, and that one has a lot less. I'm, I'm disappointed. You know, they put too much hide into the metal, and, um, and they didn't leave enough tags on it. I mean, if they would have been intelligent, they would have put the tags right and built the height right, and same amount of metal, and less cutting and mucking around. But I should be thankful that there is someone out there who does actually make these parts, otherwise I would have been sitting there with a dolly and a hammer and I would have been building the crap out of them. So, anyway. All right, well, another update um, probably tomorrow or the next day because it looks like it's going to rain. All right.